I say by Gemini men, I'm here to do a general injury for you guys to see what you need to know at this time. Please take these messages as they resonate. Leave behind what is not for somebody else. What is going on for my Gemini men out there? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Let's see here. What's going on for my Gemini men? What do I need to know? What's important? Oh, wow. So we got the five of cups out here first. So something you could be you could be going through like a a, a rebirth or something, the death process. But things are gonna be okay for you on the other side. Something has you upset. You could have just recently went to a friend or something. Or something just has you like feeling very down right now. But things are, are gonna be okay. You're not gonna be in this energy for long. Or this could be somebody else that's in this energy. Let's see, what's going on with my Gemini man? Wow, we got the three of swords. So this is about a breakup. What's going on for my Gemini man? Somebody's sad about a breakup with the page of cups. Somebody wants to apologize here. This talks about apologizing. What's going on for my Gemini man? We got the identification card. Somebody wants to get to know somebody all over again, I feel. That could have been like a fight or argument that happened with the five of swords at the bottom of the day. They caused somebody to walk away with the eight of cups and the four of wands. This could have happened in a household. You two could have stayed together with the ten of pentacles. But you two could have like planned to have a family or something. What's this five of cups energy? Yeah, this is definitely a breakup here. We got the emperor here. Aries energy. What's the five of cups with the emperor? And we got justice. You could be in court about a situation here. This could be a court matter, like a this could be like talking about a breakup, like with like a, a divorce or something with the justice card. What's the emperor specifically? Like somebody is sitting on it, sitting on it. Like somebody is sitting on their throne, not backing down. But this process is making you upset because you probably never thought that it would get to this point. Yeah, we got the five of swords. I just showed out the five of swords. The argument happened here. I thought like for some reason this argument like has you feel some type of way. But maybe this is, this is not talking about a divorce. This is talking about a breakup between you and somebody else. And like you wanted to start over here and do the right thing. Let's see here. Clarify this emperor with the five of swords for my Gemini man. And they go the Queen of Wands. This is uh, something between the Queen of Wands, a Leo Aries, a Sagittarius female here. With the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. Like, yeah, this is somebody that you stay with, somebody you had some type of celebration with. Who is this Queen of Wands energy? Who is the Queen of Wands? We got the three of wands in reverse. So this is someone that's like, like focused on the future, but not so focused on the future. Not really knowing which direction to go. Somebody's like in the stalemate, not knowing which direction to go, not knowing possibly what to, in this relationship, not really knowing if they really want to rekindle things or not. That's what I'm getting here. What does Queen of Wands with the three of wands in reverse? Yeah, we got the lovers, Gemini energy. Somebody here is definitely in love with you, but they just don't know. Like, they're questioning what's going to happen here, especially based off some type of argument that happened. What's this three of wands in reverse, specifically? Damn, and she came out again. The queen of wands just clarified herself twice for the three of wands in reverse. Wow. So this definitely has something to do with a Leo Aries Sagittarius woman. It does. This is somebody that you was in love with, but somebody here like, this is a breakup. A painful breakup here. What's the justice card here? 
I find this Queen of Wands energy is very sweet, though. We got the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like something here is definitely about to go in your favor, though. I really do feel something about to go in your favor, my Gemini man. Because I'm getting love here. Like, somebody, this Queen of Wands possibly has a choice between you and somebody else. I'm also getting that with the Lotus card. Hmm. Let's see here. What's this Lovers card specifically? We got the moon. Not the moon, but the world with the five of wands. This queen of wands like has, I feel like she has an option between a lot of people here. And she's also closing a lot of cycles here. This energy is closing out a lot of cycles with people. I feel like you're doing the same here too, though. Whoever this queen of wands energy is, she got a lot of haters around her. Yeah, with the two of pentacles here and the justice card again. I don't know what's going on with you in this, uh, this Queen of Wands here. What's the Wheel of Fortune with the Justice? We got the Five of Cups again. The Five of Cups is out here twice along with the Queen of Wands. And we got the Devil with the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Let's see here, my Gemini man. Let's see here. I feel like something is about to be rekindled between you and somebody else, possibly. But let's see. Why is the Queen of Wands already twice? Who is the Queen of Wands? You know, we got an idea. Like, somebody's trying to think about something. They're trying to come up with some type of right idea about something. Yeah, like, somebody here is, like, having a vision about something. I feel like they're, yeah, they're thinking about conflict here. What's going to happen if they do rekindle a situation? Give me some more on this Queen of Wands. She showed her face twice out here, Gemini. <laughs> they got marinette. Domination. Did somebody here doesn't want to be dominated. Somebody does not want to be controlled. You see that? Control like a puppet. Somebody here want, does not want to be controlled. Somebody here like wants freedom, free will to do as they please. So if you're interested in this Queen of Wands energy, Gemini, like you cannot be out here trying to control whoever this person is. That's what I'm getting here. Why is the Five of Cups out here twice? We got evidence. Some type of evidence investigation here. And we got introvert. Like, yeah, this like... This is you and somebody else, like, not seeing eye to eye. Give me some more on this evidence with the five of cups. We got memory. Yeah, like, I put a, some, you got some type of evidence about somebody here. Because you can't stop thinking about somebody. And we got compromise with marriage. You want somebody to compromise with you because you really want to have a family with them. That's what I'm getting here. Well, it's the three of wands in reverse, but it's queen of wands. That's what I'm getting here. We got conflict. What did I say? Like, she don't know which way to go because she's she's afraid that this relationship is going to bring a lot of more conflict. Like, something is not going to change here. I feel like there is change here, but she's like, she doesn't know if something is going to change because she doesn't want to argue. She doesn't want to fight. She wants peace. And I'm not saying that you want that, that you want to argue and fight either, but somebody just feels like Things are going to end between you guys because of a, because of conflict. What's the word here with the five of wands? That's what I'm getting here. We got reservation with the adventure. Somebody here is like, like really, really focused on some type of craft here. Their worth. Somebody is learning their worth here. Like somebody here is on an adventure and they're learning about their worth. They're putting a lot of self love into themselves. Like I said, I'm not saying that you're going to bring conflict or anything. What's the emperor card here? What's the emperor? This emperor is definitely you. But like I say, it could be somebody having a choice between you and somebody else as well. What's the emperor? We got go. Somebody being focused on some type of purpose here. Give me one more for the emperor. Maybe you feel like somebody here feels like they're not good enough or something. And we got real estate. Something about buying a house, living together. Investing into one another. Yeah, this is about you and you and your future with somebody here. What's this three of swords? This three of swords talks about a painful ending, a breakup here. We got the ace of pentacles here. Somebody possibly wants to bring somebody a new offer here. 
What's this Ace of Pentacles with Three of Swords? Somebody could be trying to pay for somebody's love here. We got the Ace of Swords, Clarity. We got the Judgment with the King of Wands and the Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the Four of Wands. A lot of Aries energy out here. Hmm. What's this Ace of Pentacles specifically? We got the chariot. Somebody wants to court somebody and like literally get in the whole world with the six of pentacles and the hierophant. Somebody wants to marry somebody here. We got the strength card, Leo energy. What's this ace of swords? Maybe somebody wants to tell somebody some type of truth here. Or like get them clarity on how they really feel about them. I'm getting the ace of cups. We got the nine of wands. Somebody's like on guard. Like somebody's like protecting themselves here. Let's see. What's this chariot here with the Ace of Pentacles? And then we got the Three of Swords again. The Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is now out here twice. The Queen of Wands is out here twice. And the Five of Cups is out here twice. Somebody wants to court somebody here. You got the strength, the four of cups, and the five of swords. Somebody doesn't want to argue and fight no more because they know this is going to lead to an ending. Like somebody here wants to really compromise with somebody. They don't want a painful ending with this person. They don't want bad memories with this person because somebody here is really upset. Like somebody going through like a transformation here. And I feel like it's you, Gemini. I really do. It could be the both of you, though. It could be the both of you. What is Ace of Swords here with the Nine of Wands? Like somebody here is definitely on guard. Okay, they're trying to receive some type of clarity. Yeah, with the high priestess. This could be both of you. And we got the six of wands here with the emperor. Yeah, this is about the, like the success. Like maybe like there's something here that you two need to collaborate with. Maybe you two are meant to collaborate on some type of business idea here or something. Or you just meant to grow. Or you feel that you want to grow with this person. Why is the three of swords I had twice? We got the three of cups. What's the three of cups? Something about a community with the king of cups. Somebody like with the six of cups and the judgment. Somebody like family here or friend group is like involved in the situation here. I don't know if it's between it's because you or this queen of wands energy. What's this king of cups here with the three of cups? Oh, we. The knight of cups just came out. I'm not going to take it. I don't like how it just came out. <laughs> wow. What is going on here? Not a car is acting all crazy. Somebody here, like, I'm definitely getting the energy here. Somebody knowing they work here, Gemini. Clarify this three of cups here with the king of cups. And damn, we got the fucking devil. Somebody here is getting involved here in somebody's relationship. What is this double energy? What's the double? I'm not really liking this. This could be like some type of uh, unhealthy attachment here as well. Or somebody like, like is bonding themselves to somebody here. Or some type of addiction. What's the double? What's this double energy? So my Gemini man. We got the two of wands with the six of pentacles. This is talking about you, somebody giving to somebody. Like somebody here is like trying to focus with this two of wands on bettering themselves and reaching the ten of pentacles. Yeah, with the eight of pentacles. But it's like they can't because with the two of swords and the three of cups again because they're steady giving to somebody here. There's a need for you to hold back. You got to hold back here. What's this devil card here? What's the devil? You got the whole back here. Because I feel like you're supposed to, like, with the nine of cups, you're supposed to be growing with somebody. Like, it's supposed to be about you and somebody else right now. Not to say you got to exit people out of your life. I ain't saying the queen of wands got to exit people out of her life either. But this is about you two growing. And I feel like somebody here is, like, still obligated for you to fill their cup up. For you to give to them. Whoever this three of cups energy is. 
Now you might feel obligated here as well because like there's some type of unhealthy attachment here. Who this king of cups? I feel like you this king of cups here, Gemini. Or well, it could be somebody else. We got the moon in reverse. Let's talk about a mom energy. The moon talks about mother energy. What's the moon in reverse with the king of cups? We got the Knight of Cups with the Ace of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it's about you pouring love into somebody, like filling somebody's cup up. Like somebody here is like, I feel like it's kind of sucking you dry a little bit. Let me get some more here. Let's see. Let's see. What's this devil card? What's the devil card here with this Three of Cups, King of Cups? We got Introvert here with Accident. You know, somebody else is not saying out of out because of something. There's a need for you to be cautious here about something. Well, give me one more for this devil card. I'm not sure what this is. We got schedule, management, planning, with marriage at the bottom, and compromise. Like, yeah, again, you want somebody to compromise with you because you see a future with them. But I'm not. What's this Three of Cups energy? What's this Three of Cups? Who is this three of cups? Look at that. We got curse. Somebody here is experiencing misfortune because they feel obligated to do for people. Somebody can have somebody under some type of like spell or curse or something here too. What's this three of cups here with curse? Now somebody got some type of unhealthy attachment with somebody here. We got fate. It talks about tarot reading. Somebody who could like be connected to a tarot reader or something. You can know somebody do tarot, somebody around you know somebody do tarot. What's this fake card? What's the fake? We got commitment. Somebody like trying to bind themselves to somebody here. I hope not. Mm -mm. Or you could be like going to a tarot reader and this tarot reader could like be telling you that somebody's trying to bind themselves to you. Let me see here. What's this fake card here with this uh commitment? Like somebody. I'm not really liking that. We got the Knight of Wands here. What's this Knight of Wands with the fake card and commitment? We got the Two of Swords. With the Six of Swords. Now, I ain't trying to tell you what to do here, Gemini, or anything. But I'm just not. I'm not too much liking the energy I'm picking up on right now. What's this Three of Swords energy? Why the Three of Swords I had twice? We got loneliness with saving. Somebody here wants to save their relationship. There is a need for you to save your money here. You're feeling lonely and you also need to save up your money. Like two people are supposed to come together here and like save up their money and like build together. But there's something, there's an unhealthy attachment here that's like blocking something here. An unhealthy attachment is blocking something. Give me one more for this double energy. What is this double energy? Give me one more. We got the lovers, but it came out in reverse. What's the lovers in reverse? Again, your energy, Gemini. And damn, and the fucking devil came out again. As I'm clarifying the devil. I don't like that. See what I'm saying? I don't like the energy I'm getting. What's this lovers in reverse with the double card? I don't like that. Somebody's trying to bind themselves to somebody. We got homeless with live and learn. Somebody here is like going through it. Somebody could like be facing homelessness or something. Somebody learn some type of lesson. This is crazy. What is this devil here with the lovers in reverse? We got the seven of swords. Something about somebody being sneaky. There's a sneaky type of energy here. I said like I'm not really liking that. I don't really too much know what to say about that because I'm not liking it. Look, y'all the first sign I have to get some extra clarification on with another deck. Let me see here. Where about this double here? Let's see 
see here, Gemini? What is this devil energy here for Gemini? We got service. I feel good when I can help others. I'm telling you, you helping somebody with abundance. Like you helping somebody. Somebody has an unhealthy attachment to you. You gotta you gotta stop giving to people. Especially if they don't really they don't really deserve it here. Give me one more for this double energy. What is this double energy? Well, we got love. Somebody isn't bruising your love. Somebody is bruising your act of kindness here. The fact that you you know you you have a really a big heart. And this could be anybody. I'm not exiting out this Leo. I'm not exiting out your family and friends here either. This could be anybody. Let me see here. Let me get some more here for this double energy to y'all. Clarify this double energy in divine. Thank you. Yeah, I'm getting you got a real big heart here. We got Stormy. There's something that you cannot trust here. Give me one more. As somebody here is like going through a storm because they have a big heart here. But I don't feel like it has anything to do with King of Wands energy. I don't know. I feel like, yeah, we got influence with snake at the bottom. Transmute. Knowledge, courage, gratitude. This is all about your money. Clarify this Queen of Wands energy. Who is this Queen of Wands energy? Who is the Queen of Wands energy? But we got good fortune with divine feminine at the bottom of that. This is somebody you could have had a past life with, but this person is like protecting you. I got we got protection, healer. This person is good luck, good fortune. Who is this Queen of Wands energy? It's not this Queen of Wands. It's somebody else. We got gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents with patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Somebody here is very patient with themselves, very patient with life. They understand something about life here. And this is somebody that you actually need by your side. Somebody here is very intellectual, very intuitive as well with this high priestess here. Clarify this high priestess. This is somebody you need by your side here. We got triumph. Yeah. This person with care at the bottom of the day, this is somebody here that you can have a very good family with. Somebody that's going to make sure that y'all are victorious and successful. But this is definitely somebody here that's very good to listen to. You know, when it, you know, I know how them uh, companies go. Like, every company has a good secretary, a good woman by their side that's helping them with all the paperwork and stuff. Like, yeah, every man needs a good woman by their side, especially if you are a good man. And I do feel like you are a good man here, Gemini. I do. Clarify this page of cups here. What's the page of cups here? So maybe there is some type of apology that you're gonna uh be giving to somebody. We got the hermit card, Virgo. Like maybe trying to figure something out. What's this page of cups with the hermit? Oh, somebody is in hermit mode right now. Trying to find themselves, get themselves together. Yeah, we got the two of swords in reverse. You're no longer blindsided by something. You have clarity about a situation. We got the death card with the two of cups here. Somebody wants to put an end to you or somebody else's relationship here. Yeah, they do. What's this two of swords in reverse? We got the tower. You're no longer blindsided about something, especially about why something ended. What's this hermit card? What's the hermit? Yeah, I feel like somebody's like healing something about themselves with the page of swords. Like, yeah, somebody's on some type of investigation journey here somebody trying to figure something out about themselves what's the page of so we got the page of pentacles with the page of pentacles bottom of my day like somebody here is still like very i'm not i'm not trying to call you immature or anything and this could be you or the queen of wild energy but somebody here is very like still immature but i feel like they're working on that because they're learning more about themselves they're healing parts of themselves what's the term here with the page of swords We got the four ones, especially something to do with the household. Something about something that happened at home. What's the tower hill for two of swords in reverse? What's the tower with the two of swords? And then we got the king of wands coming out again with the star energy. Yeah, somebody is healing. 
Somebody, especially the control, somebody has this killing their control issues. Again, this can be you or this Queen of Wands energy. But we got the Queen of Wands out here twice, and now we got the King of Wands showing his face. King of Wands is, uh, is about control, but you are a natural born leader here. You have star like potential. And you have, and I feel like you're getting clarity about this. Yeah, somebody here is meant to come together with somebody else to like build a wonderful foundation. I really do feel that. What's this King of Wands here? With the star. What's the king of wands with the star? Yeah, good marriage. <laughs> and look at the bottom of the deck. Promise. Look, somebody here is meant to come together with somebody else and build a healthy foundation. But it's like, you definitely gonna have to listen to this person here. And don't be trying to control nobody. It's, I thought there's an ex here too that's like really mad about this. I'm picking, I am picking up on the ex energy here. But forget her. What's this hermit card here with the page of swords and the four of wands? Somebody here is healing. They healing from old relationships, family drama. Yeah, we got protests here with natural disaster. Somebody here is healing. Yeah, somebody here is like really tapping into themselves. And I feel like it's really about to pay off. Clarify this identification card. Somebody here is learning more about their true identity. You're taking a leap of faith on yourself and somebody else. We got the four of pentacles. This is a need for you to hold back, save up your money. Or you could also, you could be tired of holding back from who you truly are. What's this four of pentacles here with this uh, identification card? There's somebody, there's somebody else deep down inside of you that's waiting to come out. Somebody... That you used to always be when you were a child. We got the four swords here. Yeah, somebody's hidden here. You could be saying four, four, four. There's about to be a change in your finances here as well. What's this four of pentacles here? We got the eight of swords. What's this four of swords? We got the eight of wands. You could be saying eight, eight, eight. We got the hangman with the queen of swords and the seven of swords with the magician. Your energy, Gemini. Yeah, this definitely is an ex or something here. I'm picking up on. They don't like this change that you're going through. Somebody that feels like that they're meant for you, but I'm not feeling their energy. What's this eight of swords here with the four of pentacles? We are overload. Yeah, it's like you you got too much on your back, like you're too obligated. You feel like you're ob you ready to hold back from somebody here. You feel like you're obligated to give to somebody here or some people here, and you're not obligated to. I feel like you need to put more attention not to you and the household that you're building, or otherwise it's going to cause outside problems. I'm just saying. I ain't trying to tell you what to do. I'm just saying. What does Ada want to do with the four swords? Because I just feel like... If it's not about you and your and your family, we got culture with vow, obedience, worshiping. I'm not I'm not liking that energy. Clarify this identification card. We got eternal love. There's two people here on their own personal journey to learn more about themselves, to come together. And again, there's somebody here that doesn't like that. Some type of third party here, but I'm not too much worried about the energy, though, to be honest. What's the outcome here for my Geminis? What's the outcome for my Gemini men here? I hope y'all get something from this message, my Gemini men. We got the Queen of Pentacles here. Care about this Queen of Pentacles? This Queen of Pentacles could be this Queen of Wands, or it could... The Eight of Cups almost came out. Or it could be like a mother figure. What's the Queen of Pentacles? We got the Eight of Pentacles. With the Sprint and the, the Hangman with the Four of Cups. Hmm. What's this Queen of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles for the outcome? Wow, that came out fast. And we got the Seven of Pentacles. A lot to do with money here. Give me one more. And we got the nine of pentacles. God damn, with the eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Whoa. Let me see here. Who is this queen of pentacles? Who is the queen of pentacles? 
Wow, three cards came out. Disturbance with justice and confinement. Yeah. This is somebody, this is a mother figure here. Even yeah, Gemini, this is a mother figure, an ex or somebody in your family that's trying to attach themselves to you that cannot get you out of their head. I was just talking about that with the Eight of Swords over here. Somebody that doesn't want you to hold back from them. Somebody that wants you to give all your shit to them. Literally, they want you to take care of them. They depend on you working, you out here making a living for yourself and the family that you got going on at home. And this person, like, it's trying to make you feel obligated for taking care of them. No. No, I don't care who this person is, but somebody here just like, mm -mm. I don't like that. All these are pentacles. This is all about money. What's the seven of pentacles with the uh, eight of pentacles and the nine of pentacles? Seven, eight, nine. You could be saying that angel number. With libation. This shit is crazy as a motherfucker with trap at the bottom of the deck and robbery. Somebody is trying to rob you blind. This could be somebody that's in a religion or something. Give me one more of this libation. Like, look at that. Like, using anointing oils and shit. Give me one more. I'm just saying. We got imagination. Fantasy mind. Like, somebody like playing mind games with you. Like I say, I don't know who this person is, but I'm just saying. This ain't this Queen of Wands energy. Clarify this uh, Queen of Pentacles here with all these. This Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. With this disturbance and shit. Like, we got somebody here that's trying to keep you locked in your head. We got healer. Give me one more. This is somebody that comes off this healing. Or again, this could be talking about a mother figure. We got friendship. Somebody that you have a, a friendship with too, possibly. So this could possibly be talking about this ex. Give me some more here. For this Queen of Pentacles energy. No, we got worry. Whoever she is, she's definitely worried. Look, we got regret with the imagination coming out again. Somebody here regrets doing something here. Somebody here is worried. They definitely have you in their mind. They cannot stop thinking about you. I don't know who this person is. But, yeah. Let me see. What is the outcome for this Gemini and this Queen of Wands energy? Because she did show herself like, twice. Then we got the Queen of Swords. Where about this Queen of Swords? swords we got the hangman with the king of swords at the bottom of the deck and the king of cups i don't know y'all who this queen of swords with the hangman and there go the queen of pentacles again we got the knight of wands with the queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck and the four of swords with the ace of pentacles and the four of pentacles i'm telling you somebody here wants you to give to them and it's like making them so upset that they getting a fucking headache thinking about you giving to somebody else and holding back from them seriously who is this Queen of Swords energy specifically? This is the outcome for you and, and this, this Queen of Wands energy. Or maybe she just like, maybe it's this Queen of Wands and this Queen of Swords energy. Like being very direct and logical with you. Getting straight to the point. We got Justice. Justice came out for that Queen of Pentacles. Let me see here. Who did, what's this Queen of Swords energy? We got game. No, this is origin with merit making and blessing. Yeah. This is somebody that's getting straight to it. Mm-hmm. Somebody that's very creative. That knows what they want. They want to balance out the scales here with you. Somebody has a lot of energy here with this night of wands. What's the hangman? We got strategy. Somebody here is like a mind reader. What's the hangman with the uh, strategy? Somebody here like plays chess, not checkers. We got fright, scared for a ritual at the bottom of the deck. Somebody here is like paranoid or something. There is an outside thing here. This might be you. I feel like you need to you need to cleanse your energy or something, Gemini. You need to cleanse your energy here. I feel like you're doing something, you're into something that's not good for you. Especially if you're in a religion here. I'm just saying, I ain't trying to knock nobody here. I'm really not. But I'm just, uh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. What is the outcome here for Gemini and this Queen of Wands energy?
We got focus. Give me one more. And we got relief. The end of a tough cycle here. Somebody here is going to really have to focus on like bettering something here. This is the end of suffering, end of hard times with soulmate at the bottom of the deck and safe travel with fire. Yeah, somebody here like sees beyond the veil. I feel like somebody here is very helpful. What's the outcome here for this Queen of Wands energy in Gemini? Y'all reading what's long. We got judgment. Give me one more. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges with success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. This is somebody that you are meant to have a very powerful loving connection with. If things can go right between you guys. If you two can like put focus onto each other. And really like, you know, hone in. Clarify this excessive with judgment. This is somebody you're meant to build a stable foundation with here though. But it's, both, it's about both of you putting each other first. No outside of judgment here again. This is about both of you answering some type of calling here that's going to bring you to you guys to success. Clarify this judgment. Why the judgment are twice? This is about y'all reaching success together. And again, y'all got to put each other first. And that's all the Empress card. Wow. Somebody is very, very creative. Somebody is a whole Empress out here. My Gemini men. Somebody is an Empress. Clarify this Empress with the judgment. This is somebody that you want by your side. Because they're very creative. They're very, very in tune. We got the Six of Cups, but why is it in reverse? There's like some, there's also something going on here with a mom figure. The Empress could also represent a mom. But it could also be a mom that's like stopping you from answering some type of calling for yourself. What's the Empress here with the Six of Cups in reverse? I'm only doing a reading this long because we still got time. What's the Empress here with the Six of Cups in reverse? We got the Page of Wands. It's time for you to walk your own journey. It's time for you to walk your own journey here, Gemini. Do for you. Answer your own questions. You need to have a, a better relationship with God yourself for yourself. It's like, I'm sorry, but I'm getting here like somebody has to like cut off an attachment that they have with a female, whether it's an ex or a female in your family. You have to start answering things for yourself. Be your own man here, Gemini. That's what I'm getting here. I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to say anything. I'm not trying to, you know, do any of that. But I'm just saying, that's what I'm getting here. That's what I'm getting. Why is the judgment card out here twice? This is about you answering a calling along with somebody else. And we got power. You standing in your own power here. For yourself. But yeah, that's what I got for y'all, Gemini men. I hope y'all guys got something from it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll